only thing that stays consistent is the grind. Keep on grinding. Hey, welcome back to the channel everyone. Very, very happy to be here today. I got a very, very special video for you today. We're gonna to be covering a variety of topics. Different length chains paired with different length pendants. Now I've been asked by you guys to go ahead and do videos like this for a little while. Joe, can you show us pendants? Joe, can you show us different lengths? Now I've covered different lengths in the past. You guys might be aware of those different videos. Today we're going to try to keep it really, really simple. Keep, keep a variety of lengths all the way from 18 inches to 30 inches and a variety of pendants all the way from 20 millimeters up to about 60 millimeters. Now, I also want to mention that we've been having a lot of drama between Trax NYC and Eddie from Harlem Bling lately. A lot of you guys hit me up on the DMs over on Instagram and told me, Joe, can you cover some of this stuff that's going on? I would love to do that. But before I can go ahead and cover that stuff, I got to get some other content out because I really feel like videos like this, the length videos and stuff like that, we've kind of got away from for a while and I feel that they'll be very valuable to you. But in the meantime, if you need everything jewelry news, if you need all the jewelry news that's going on, hit up Brandon Suarez over on YouTube. That channel is doing a fantastic job when it comes to jewelry news. In fact, the number one place that I go to is that channel when I want to be up to date on the jewelry news. What's going on? Where's the drama? What's going on in the industry? That is the number one channel right now that I can say co is covering that jewelry news. Now, let's get back to what we came here for. As I mentioned, I'm going to be giving you guys a very large variety today. We're going to be trying to keep it relatively the same though. And the reason why is because I don't want to throw you off. Keep in mind, when you're looking at chain widths, when you put on a chain, the width goes up. It starts going up closer to your neck. So if the chain's laying down here, if you get a thicker width chain, it's going to go up. That is going to skew the view when it comes to what the length looks like. So I tried to choose chains that are going to be relatively thin so you guys can get a good idea of what they really, really look like when it comes to length. Again, the thicker you go, the shorter the chain will appear even though it really is at a longer length. So keep that in mind. Now around the neck, I have an 18 inch chain, but I will be letting you guys know what those pendants are looking like as far as length goes, okay? Um, 18 inch chain around the neck. Check that out. This is from 12 feet away, guys. You know how we love to take 12. Take it 12 feet on this channel to give you guys a real, realistic perspective of what's going on. Let's put it like that. All right, so let me go ahead and throw a couple of pendants on this to let you guys know what that's going to look like. Now, I don't have all the pendants in the world, but my buddy Dave, fantastic viewer of this channel, told me, Joe, when you don't have a pendant, use a ring. So that's what we're doing today. We have an 18-inch chain. We have a 20-millimeter pendant or ring around the neck. Let's take it 12 feet back to show you guys what that will look like. 20-millimeter pendant on an 18 inch chain. Check that out from 12 feet away. Just in case you guys want a 20 millimeter pendant, hopefully we can get you the best we can online to give you an idea of that, what that'll look like. Let's move on to that next pendant. Around the neck, we have a 25 millimeter pendant on that 18 inch chain. Taking it back, taking it back for your blue viewing pleasure. Guys, please don't mind. I'm not really feeling myself today. I just worked out, so I'm very tired. And I realized, I think I'm coming down with something, not really feeling too great. I'm sure I'm okay. Just uh, bear with me while I get through this time. All right, let's move on to that next pendant. Okay, 27 millimeter pendant around the neck. We will take this back. Remember, this is the same chain, guys. 18 inches. 18 inches. I'm hoping that this gives you a great idea on what it's going to look like depending on that pendant size. I know it's very hard online to try to do what you want to do. Let me know in the comments, what do you like so far? 32 millimeter pendant around the neck. Taking it back. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see what that looks like from there 12 feet away. Giving you a good realistic perspective of what you will look like in public wearing this stuff. Alright, we have a 40 millimeter pendant on an 18 inch chain. Check it out. Getting up there in size. 46 millimeter pendant around the neck. Let's take it back. 
12 feet away. Okay. Let's get that big pendant on. 57 millimeter pendant around the neck, 18 inch chain. What are your thoughts, guys? What are your thoughts? Let's hope this really helps somebody, because let me tell you, this video is getting pretty in depth. Man, this editing job is gonna be nuts. All right, let's move on to the next chain. All right, 20 inch chain around the neck. Again, guys, really, I'm not trying to focus on the millimeters of these chains. Just keep in mind, they're very small, very small millimeters. And again, I'm trying to keep them at that small millimeter because I want to give you guys a good idea of how they're all similar. All right, 20 inch chain with a 20 millimeter pendant around the neck. Taking it back. Right. Bring it back up. 20 inch chain with a 25 millimeter pendant. Twelve feet away. Twenty-seven millimeters around the neck on this pendant. Same 20 inch chain. Three millimeter pendant around the neck. All right, forty millimeter pendant. Still, we got that twenty inch chain on. Really hope this is helping you guys. I tried to figure out the best way to make this video possible. I'm doing my best. Let me know if this is helpful. Let me know if you'd like to see more of this in the future. 45 millimeters. Here we have the monster again at 58 millimeters. I may have said the wrong number before, guys. I might have said 57. If I didn't, then that's great. But this is 58 millimeters. 58 millimeters. Huge. Huge pendant. All right, let's get that next chain. 22 inch chain with a 20 millimeter pendant. Twenty five millimeter around the neck. Twenty seven. Twenty seven millimeter pendant. Twenty two inch chain. All right, 33 millimeter pendant around the neck on that 22 inch chain. Forty millimeters. Six millimeters. Definitely get my steps in today. Fifty eight millimeters around the neck. Right now around the neck we have a 24 inch, 24 inch rope, take that back, 
throw right, that so first we have that 24 in. inch chain with a 20 millimeter pendant. Five millimeter pendant. Twenty seven millimeter pendant. Next chain is a 26 millimeter. Now I'm really loving this length because I can just take this thing on and off. Really, really nice. This is the 20 millimeter pendant on the 26 millimeter. Twenty five millimeter, twenty seven millimeter. Meter around the neck. All right, we have a forty millimeter around the neck. Forty six millimeter. millimeters. All right, we're getting to the end, guys. Getting to the end, we have a 28 inch chain around the neck. Twenty millimeter pendant. Twenty five millimeters.
40 millimeters. Six millimeters. Fifty eight millimeters. We are at the last chain for today. This is a thirty inch rope chain. Taking it back 12 feet. Finally, we are done. Let's let's really hope that this gave you guys a good idea on different millimeters and chains and all that stuff. I really hope it helped. All right, so we have the 20 millimeter around the neck. Five millimeter. Twenty seven. Forty-six. And fifty-eight. Whoo, man, am I tired. My hands are cramping up from taking on and off these pendants. Forget it. Now, guys, keep in mind, every single one of these pendants was a different width, a different shape, and so on. When I get asked about pendants, it's very hard to do pendant videos because those pendant videos, I mean, there's no way I can do all the different variations. There's so many different size pendants, stuff like that. All of these pendants were measured from the top to the bottom, including the bales, okay? So keep that in mind. When you want to go ahead and mix and match, use this as a guide. But remember, nothing will ever be perfect because there's different widths, different, you know, we got the lengths down, but different widths and all that stuff. I think the most important thing to think about is the bail length rather than the width, because at the end of the day, the width doesn't matter too much anyway, because if you're stacking chains, the length of the chain is going to be affected by where that pendant is hanging. Most of the time, you're not going to have a super, super wide pendant. Let me know if I'm wrong, in my opinion. Uh, you're not going to have a super, super wide pendant paired up with another chain you're going to have a couple of small pieces maybe something like that but let me know everybody's style is different in either case i really hope this video helped you be safe guys talk soon like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you all at the next video